Welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and welcome my friends, it is finally time to set our sights on a possible world record on the channel guys, uh, maybe a YouTube world record. So what we're basically going to do over the next couple of weeks, we're going to try and get ourselves to the top 200 players in the world. We have literally just hit the Legends League a couple of hours ago, I just lost some trophies on defense, I might show you that in a couple of seconds time guys, but basically... We are now officially back inside of the Legends League and we are going to start to make our way up possibly as I said to try and get to the top 200 players in the world. So what I want you guys to do, I want you all to help me out. I don't know which YouTuber actually got the most trophies on COC guys so please if you do know let me know down below which YouTuber holds the current record for the most amount of trophies guys which COC YouTuber is it and let me know how many trophies they actually had down below in that comment section. So a couple of quick announcements before we do get ourselves into some live action. So this week I've actually been slacking on videos. I've been very tired. I've only uploaded one episode a day for the last, I think, five or maybe even six days. If you've been subbed to the channel for a while, you will know we do double uploads every day. We will be returning to double uploads today, so please stay tuned for the second episode. Second announcement, guys, for anyone that actually missed it, Supercell COC is now launching a, uh, what is it? I think it's going to be a weekly actual series, a weekly cartoon series for Clash of Clans and Clash Royale characters. So this is going to be the next step for Supercell, guys. You never know, they could actually bring a movie out next year. If you are hyped for that, then make sure you drop a like on the video. Third announcement, we are approaching 1 million subscribers. We've just hit 950,000. If this is the first time you are seeing the channel, we are doing a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One giveaway for every single person who is subbed to the channel, guys. So if you want the chance to win that, all you need to do, leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. The giveaway will end on the 18th of December and I will announce the winners live on Facecam. So good luck to everyone. The final announcement, guys, there is going to be a red event hopefully coming on the 23rd of November, so in a couple of days' time, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We will be bringing you all of the update information that is going to be coming over Christmas. This is kind of like an update episode, but in a couple of moments' time, we are going to continue our trophy push, guys. We're going to see if we can hit the top 200 players in the world and hopefully take the world record for the number one YouTuber eventually with the most trophies ever got in COC. I know Mystic7 got to something like 5600, but I'm hoping as long as the game doesn't die out too much that we can actually beat Mystic. I'm hoping we can beat Brandon and I'm not sure if there are any other YouTubers who have pushed extremely high in trophies. So we're pretty much at 5000 now, we're at the Legends League barrier, but I'm, I'm going to try and get to at least, at least 5500. So we're going to wait to do the big trophy push at the start of the season guys so it is obviously i think the 19th of november so we're going to stay around 4800 to 5000 trophies and then as soon as it hits the first of december when the trophies are reset to 5k we're going to see if we can get you know top 200 global and see how that goes so please drop a like on the episode if you are absolutely hyped for that so let's just see what's actually going on in the base so for anyone that's new around here or hasn't watched for a couple of days the basic information is this we have all five builders currently going to work we got that mortar upgrading to level 10, which is the max level where we got three expos, one there, one there, and one there, all upgrading to max level five, guys. The fourth one is actually already upgraded. And then, of course, we have the uh, the Archer Queen, who's currently going to level 36. So we're going to gem the Archer Queen, guys, 969 gems. She cost 180,000 Dark Elixir. But there we go, only four levels to go, and we have a level 36 Archer Queen. So we are also currently inside of Live War, guys. Now, there will be a second episode coming in a couple of hours' time. It may be Live War Attacks, only 5 hours and 11 minutes remaining. And it's looking close. It is definitely looking close. 35 to 33. We're just in the lead there, but I do have my two attacks. We will be attacking number one, and we will probably clean up number three for a three-star. Hopefully, fingers crossed, so stay tuned for that. So for anyone interested in what the actual loot is like inside of the Legends League right now, guys, check it out. This is actually inside of the Titans 3 League. My bad. This guy's in the Titans 3. 7,500 Dark Elixir, 500 plus thousand Elixir, and 600 plus thousand gold. So, uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We are, of course, managing to max out our heroes and, you know, the rest of the base. So as I said, guys, Supercell is actually launching their first ever TV series. This is going to be pretty damn insane. Now, I'm obviously not sure... 
where it's actually gonna, you know, stream or where the episodes are gonna be. I'm guessing it's most likely just gonna be on YouTube for now, but you never know, you could see it on TV next year. Who knows, it could be like The Simpsons eventually. Uh, as I said, there could also be a movie, guys. Now, one quick announcement, guys, which I actually forgot to say. Clash with Ash actually posted a really cool update idea video and uh, once this video is over I would love it if you go and check that out it's a pretty damn awesome idea let me know what you think about it in that comment section if you've already seen it but if you haven't go over to Clash with Ash's channel and check it out definitely one of the best ideas I've seen for quite some time so I think that actually covers the uh, the announcements hopefully the red event will be launching this week and fingers crossed for a great update coming in the Christmas there have been some, uh, some speculation that Supercell is going to be rolling out something big, so I'm hoping that's going to actually happen, guys. This is pretty much the highest I've ever been in trophies, and, uh, you know, I want the game to last a lot longer. So we're going to go quad speed here to finish off the raid. Now, we cannot do any live attacks inside of this episode, quite frankly, because it takes about 20 minutes just to find a base, and sometimes the bases that we find are only worth a couple of trophies. So what we're actually going to do to finish off this episode we're going to uh, we're going to use our, our our first attack inside of war. So we're going to be attacking number three. We're going to clean up number three. Let's just see what the base actually looks like. Okay, so it's it's not too much of a. I don't actually know if this is hard or not. I'm not sure what kind of strategy we're going to use. Let's just check it out, guys. So we've requested a golem and an earthquake inside of my CC. So we got that from Jasu there. And now we're going to build our we're going to build our spells first. So we're going to go three earthquake spells, two rage spells. We're not going to bring any free spells. I believe they were two single target Inferno Towers. Let me just double check that. Let me go for another scout of the base, guys. Were they two single targets? Yes, they are. Okay, so we're going to bring a heal spell. Actually, we're going to bring two heal spells. So it's going to be a double heal spell for the uh, for the spells coming inside of the raid. So here we go. Second heal spell coming up. We're going to gem that. Now, the troops, we're going to be using a bowler army, guys. But we're going to maybe use something a little bit different as well. Let's go for 20 bowlers, three healers. And of course, the standard 10 wizards, a couple of wall breakers, and then let's see how many more spaces we got. So we've got 30 spaces. Let's go for a quick scout of the base once again. What last troop should we bring? So the plan is going to be earthquake spell right there next to the next to the clan castle. Send in the actual the uh, the wall breakers. Make a little funnel, and uh, we're gonna. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? You know what? I've got a great idea. I've got an idea. I don't know if this is gonna work. It could work. Let's just see what happens. This is actually going to be a little bit a little bit dodgy, guys. But if we bring some miners and keep those two heal spells, then we could find our miners go into the center there and maybe do some real damage to those uh, those single target Inferno Towers. Let's see what kind of attack strategy we can conjure up. We've just got ourselves our level 36 queen. Gonna gem the Grand Warden. Have we got the Clan Castle? We've got a Hog and, a, and a, a Golem just waiting on the last Earthquake spell. Now we're just going to gem ourselves the Barbarian King. So here we go guys, if you've made it this far into the episode, hashtag good luck Tony down below in that comment section. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to this base. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna attack it. Here we go. In for the live attack. We've got the Grand Warden, the King, and the Queen, of course, are ready to rumble. Gotta drop in the earthquake spells right there. Hopefully we're gonna open both these walls. Yes, we are. That should have worked perfectly. There we go, guys. Walls are gonna open. And now we can actually go in and attack the base. So we're going to drop the golem right on that corner there. There goes the golem. Going to send in a couple of wizards just to make, you know, a nice little funnel. Oh, I didn't mean to drop the archer queen. I just dropped the archer queen by accident. That was not actually meant to happen. Hopefully that doesn't mess up my entire raid, guys. But here we go. Bowl is going to go into the base now as well. Going to send in the healers and send in the rest of the wizards. Going to have to use the queen's ability. That was definitely not meant to happen there. Here we go, guys. Grand Warden's ability going to get... But where's the Grand Warden? Oh my god, we haven't even sent in the Grand Warden. What is going on? This raid has literally gone worse than it could have possibly gone. And we missed the King's ability. This has gone so bad already, but hopefully we can still get a two-star on the base, guys. Let's just wait and see what happens. The Queen has somehow actually managed to still stay alive. We're going to have to save the Rage spell now. Where's the Grand Warden at? Where is the Grand Warden? Grand Warden's following the Bowlers. We're going to work. We're going to follow the Bowlers. And see if we can somehow manage to get a two star in this base. So I completely messed that up. Misclicked a couple of times. Let's just see what happens. So here we go. We're now going to funnel the miners into the center. Still got the Grand Warden's ability to use. We're going to see if we can heal up some of those bowlers. Going to pop the Grand Warden's ability. Going to use your Rage spell and our Heal spell on the miners. 
Let's just see what happens, guys. I'm not really sure how this is going to go down. Mine is making it onto the town hall. Can we get the town hall? It looks like it should fall. Town hall should fall. There we go. Town hall's falling, guys. That was definitely a lucky clutch there because it didn't really look like it was going to happen at all. So unfortunately, the rest of the miners are starting to fade. Can we clutch this expo? We might be able to get a high percent on the base, but I'm not really sure. Nope, that expo stays alive, and it doesn't look like we're going to go much further than this, guys. The queen has actually gone all the way back up to max health, which is very, uh, very lucky. But of course, that uh, that single target Infernal Tower is going to rinse my queen. We may possibly get a 90 plus percent, but we are going to win this episode in a couple of seconds time, guys. Unfortunately, I completely messed up that tack up, probably because I've done a live raid. So the queen is going to go down, but can she reach that 90%? It looks like it's going to come close. The three healers still alive. Damn, this raid actually really annoyed me. Unfortunately, it looks like it's only going to be a two star. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm semi-satisfied with 90%, guys. We're going to run out of time, I believe, anyway. The queen may actually stay alive. Can she grab that expo? Just out of range of the expo, 94%. We're just going to allow the raid to play out, guys. So I will see you very shortly in a couple of hours' time for the next episode. Stay tuned to the channel. Leave a like, subscribe. Have a great weekend, guys. Peace out.